Hey there, greetings everyone, welcome back to the show. Today, a special treat for you from our good friends over at Hack the Box. They have a new fortress, and it's all about that. Wait for it. That's right, AWS, because that's the skills we need to know a little something or, or two, maybe even three about. That said, before we get uh, too far into the conversation today, if you could do me the immense favor, finding the like and subscribe button to make sure you hit that stuff. And then, uh, hey, you know what? Leave a comment. Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me. I got to hear it. I got to know you're there because it's fun. We have a good time, good conversation going. Everybody likes it. And we all learn from each other because that's what it's all about. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to this wonderful awesomeness. That is the new fortress from Hack the Box. If you're not familiar with fortresses, these are some really more like cool and yet a little more challenging types of uh, hack the box scenarios, if you will. Really good stuff. So once you've kind of messed around with uh, just regular machines, you go into their labs, they've got these fortresses and um, they're really cool. There's a, good, a bunch of different ones, but the new kid on the block here. And as we all know, we like new hotness. It is awesome. It's all about that AWS. And if we look at this lovely little document, dear community, oh, so, so informal. I love it. We're dear to them, which I'm sure we are because they're, they're cool people making cool stuff for us. Uh, we are excited to introduce a brand new fortress powered by AWS and entirely focused on cloud hacking, right? If you didn't know this, right? Fun fact, little uh, interesting thing is that cloud is like the thing. It's the wave of the future. If you've been putting off like, oh, you know, I like building servers and just doing that kind of old fashioned, uh, big iron kind of thing, I get it, right? A lot of us cut our teeth there and that's where we live for a long time. But nowadays you gotta be up on some cloud and you have to understand how to work in cloud. AWS being the, you know, the big dog on the block. They are, the biggest cloud provider in the world. So not only are they the big dog cloud provider, but they host a lot of the big dogs that we are used to using on the internet, right? So understanding AWS security, probably a good idea, right? That's my tip to you today. If you learn nothing else, know that understanding security in an AWS environment is a super useful skill set and also a little marketable, right? So if you've been wondering, how do I cut into this whole cybersecurity bit, uh, gig? You might want to take the cloud route. Just saying. It's, it's a good way to go. Not a lot of people have figured that out yet. So again, we've unturned a stone. Hey, look, a secret. It's all for you. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we understand that cloud's kind of a big deal. If you didn't know that before, now you do. Now you can't say no one ever told you anything, right? And then, uh, so this new fortress is powered by AWS. Entire, uh, entirely focused on cloud hacking. This interesting folk, uh, fortress from AWS. Uh, how many times can we say uh, fortress and AWS at the same time? A wide variety of realistic and current techniques ranging from web exploitation. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm gonna, I like bumping fonts as good as I can. Uh, web exploitation to cloud privilege escalations for services used by thousands of businesses over 190 countries. It's kind of what we were just talking about, right? So the lab is designed as an ideal training ground for those who have a good understanding of web penetration testing and a basic knowledge of cloud services. So, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta know a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to web pen testing and cloud services, most likely not just, uh, you probably do need to understand generally what cloud services are and, you know, that kind of thing. But I would also assume that since we are going AWS specific, you probably need to know just a thing or two about AWS. If you haven't done that, guess what? If you've never, if you've never signed up for AWS before, go do that because you get like, I want to say a year of a free tier, right? I think that's the right thing. I can't remember off the top of my head, so don't quote me. Don't hold my feet to the fire on that. I'm going to get you good, you know, out of them. Well, Daniel, actually, they've changed that. Some but yeah, would, that's not what we're talking about. It's just There is a free option available to you from AWS. You just have to sign up, start working with, and using AWS. So do that for your own benefit. Don't do it for me. Right? I, I honestly couldn't care less. 
If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But I'm here to tell you right now, that's a good way to get some skills. Start messing with that stuff. All right. And then it says, by conquering Fortress, participants will have the same chance to learn exercises, uh, to learn and exercise the following abilities. As we said before, web app pen testing, uh, forensics and reversing. Hmm. There's a little bit of that action going on in there. Bet you weren't expecting that. Of course, cloud exploitation. That makes sense. And a little Active Directory ab abuse. I like the way they put that. Active Directory abuse. Like, like it's a rented mule that we are just angry at. And it's like, you stupid, don't get moved, this mule. You know, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, but fun. Yes, we do say the word abuse, and it just has a, an odd connotation to it. Which means just that we're gonna we're gonna mess with it. We're gonna take advantage of some of its security uh, foibles and shortcomings. Right. The main learning objective in this innovative lab will be to uh, focus on enumeration, OWASP top ten even, AWS API enumeration and exploitation even. The AWS Fortress will be available to hack the box players. Oh yeah, this is kind of an important little tidbit. So if you weren't paying attention, you know, cue in. Open the ear real quick. Just hear me out. Uh, you have to have the hack, uh, the rank of hacker on Hack the Box if you wish to, to mess with this specific fortress. Because um, that's the one we're talking about today. I make no, no promises that I know anything about the other fortresses. Today it's all about the AWS one. And these are the facts when it comes to it. So the AWS Fortress will be available for HDB players from the hacker rank and above. So you have to have that. An important little caveat. And then we have this little breakdown that comes from the good folks at AWS itself. Security is job zero at AWS. Okay, I get it. I mean, that makes sense. Hopefully it is. <laughs> I'm saying they ain't never made a mistake. It does happen. But they that's not their intention. Right? They try to do the best they can. So, as penetration tester, uh, as a penetration tester, it's crucial to continuously learn and hone new techniques. Lots of our security engineers across Amazon use Hack the Box. So you're starting to see they're, they're saying, "Hey, we at Amazon use Hack the Box. We like Hack the Box. It's great." And uh, of course, the various challenges they offer to keep their skills up to date. This is from Tobias Grimm, a pen testing engineer at AWS. He continues, "We decided to give back to the community." Well, hold on there. You just, just, just hold the heck on. Now, you're telling me that Tobias Grimm and his AWS testing friends over there at AWS just said, you know, we like that hack the box so much. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give back. We're going to build a fortress. It's going to be about the AWS thing. And it says that they're inspired by these. This lab is inspired by our daily experiences on real world engagements. So, right. And this is kind of what Hack the Box is known for, right? It, it does have some CTFE stuff. And you, yeah, I can take or leave CTFE things. I like more really worldy things. Not that CTF stuff doesn't teach you anything or isn't useful. It absolutely is. Um, but I much, it's just my personal preference. I prefer the like straight up real world type of stuff. So um, that's that's cool. They're they're trying to bring that to you from AWS itself. This is stuff they see. They put it in the fortress. They said through doing so, we hope to provide insight into our jobs. Um, providing this insight into our jobs will enable and encourage new people to join the field of cybersecurity. They wish us the best of luck. Have great fun while attempting to storm the fortress. That is soups awesome. Let's go back there. I'm just, just you know, continuing to read from here down. Uh, very cool. And then there's one more fun little fact there. It says, in addition, by completing this lab, players will have the opportunity to apply for open security engineering positions with the global AWS AppSec team. For those of you in the back, let me say that again. If you complete this lab, you will then have the opportunity to apply for open security engineering positions with the global AWS AppSec team. So the they're giving you a foot in the door, possibly, if you complete these labs because you've proven something. Again, going back to the idea of how robust Hack the Box usually is. Again, I, I, I don't, I, I, I like the real worldy stuff, so I'm glad this is here. Um, I think that's a great resource. So you're getting AWS Labs through a proven platform of Hack the Box, 
of always being awesome and, and giving us great stuff. And then, um, if you complete it, then you could even possibly land some work, get your foot in the door, become the thing you're looking to be if you're not in the field already. Right. So a wonderful opportunity. So if you're already in cybersecurity and you're looking to make a move, maybe this is a great way to go. If you're not in cybersecurity, and you know, people that are and they, they're looking for a place, point them to these labs. Say, hey, you might want to get the cracking on those AWS Fortress lab uh, over there on Hack the Box. Could be a way to go. Now, full disclosure, uh, Hack the Box reached out to me. Uh, I, had, I had already kind of like made my mind up. I was going to do something about this. You know me. I, I've got I try to keep you guys informed on the cool offerings that are out there. But they were like, hey, you know, you want to test drive this thing? So I did. Very cool. Extremely robust. Like like I said, there's a reason they want you to be a uh, hacker rank or above. You got to know a thing or two about a thing or two. Otherwise, it's just going to be you're like, you're just going to feel dejected and want to <laughs> go do something else, maybe. All right. Um, but if you've got enough skills, this is a great way to really start to build more skills and hone the skills you already have and really get into that, that cloud side of things, which looks awesome on a resume. You have really marketable skills at that point. So I like this. I think this is great. Uh, just so you can see where it is. I wanted to do that as well. Um, where am I going here? Yeah, there we go. If you want to see this, this is kind of what it looks like right here. So if you go into the, uh, the sidebar panel here and pop that out uh, and you look under this area under labs, you'll see if you scroll, you have fortresses, right? And that will take you here. And then from here, you just scroll. There's all the other fortresses that are available. And then, booyah, AWS. You got those labs right there. So that's how you uh, connect with that to make that happen. I use the word connect because I glanced over here where it says connect to HTB. <laughs> ah, crazy how we get like uh, the power of suggestion, right? Well, I'm suggesting you get your butts over to uh, Hack the Box and check that out. Like I said, they did uh, let me have some some preview access to this just to check it out, and so I could I could give you the scoop and the skinny and let you know. Obviously, we're not going into the labs if that's what you're sitting here waiting for. Not gonna do that, right? It's not gonna. I don't want to give away any secrets or do any spoilers or walkthroughs or anything to that nature. This is all about just kind of getting the word out that this is available. And it is a really good idea for you good folks to, uh, if you're looking for a new thing to do and you need something to like continue to challenge you, the AWS Fortress at Hack the Box is a, is a fine, fine way to go if you're looking to spend your time somewhere. So check that out. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me. That's all I really wanted to tell you is just kind of like, like I said, spread the word about the AWS Fortress available at Hack the Box. Go get that, uh, get those skills done. And hey, you never know, you might actually land yourself some work with AWS. Really cool stuff. And uh, I'm rooting for you, right? I hope it, I hope it works out. That said, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm actually getting ready to go get packed for Black Hat. I am heading out that way a manana. If you're gonna be there and you see me, stop me. Say hey, watch your stuff, and you know, shake my hand, take a photo, do whatever you want to do, and then we'll we'll say. It, I got to meet so and so. They were so cool, and uh, maybe I mentioned it on. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like a hack, uh, a black hat thing for the for the channel here. Maybe I'll I'll take a bunch of B-roll or something. That'll be cool. All right, everyone. I'm rambling now at this point, so I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep hacking.